All right, just going to do a video about a story coming out of America this time. Uh, in this case, you have a bunch of feminists and witches rioting and going crazy over a potential abortion ban and overturning of abortion rights in America. It's insanity. And how basically, because what's going on in America is that the feminists and the pro-abortionists basically take your tax money and murder, murder their own children. And by the way, too, many people who have had abortions often regret doing that years down the road. They often have depression and that kind of stuff, so it's mentally unhealthy for them. But they're riding in the streets over the potential uh, overturning of what's called Roe v. Wade, the thing that the, the Supreme Court case that basically legalized abortion. And why do I bring this up? Why do I call them feminists and witches? Well, because feminism and witchcraft go hand in hand. First uh, Samuel chapter fifteen verse twenty three says, "For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft." And feminism is in fact rebellion. So I'm going to read this article. It says, Potential Supreme Court move to overturn abortion sends protesters onto the streets. Yeah, because they are they want to keep taking your tax money to murder their own children. It's insanity. And by the way, before someone says, well, abortion is not murder. I got some evidence that proves otherwise, and I'll show it at the end of this video. It says, on May, uh, May 3rd, anti-abortion activists and pro-abortion rights supporters took to the streets of Washington on Tuesday after news that the Supreme Court may overturn the 1973 Roe v. Roe v. Wade ruling that legalized abortion. A leaked initial draft majority opinion suggests the court has vowed to overturn Roe v. Wade, political reported on Monday. Uh, Reuters was not immediately able to confirm the authenticity of the draft opinion. The Supreme Court and the White House declined to comment. Yeah, of course they did the White House because you got old senile Joe Biden, Dementia Joe in there. Uh, came and figure out what his sentences are, came and figure out what the questions he's asked are. So, of course, he doesn't want to comment on that. Uh, within hours of the news, anti abortion activists chanting, Hey, hey, ho, ho, Ruby Wade has got to go, and abortion rights supporters shouting, Abortionist health care, were facing outside the support, were facing, were facing off, sorry, outside the court. Abortion is one of the most divisive issues in U.S. politics and has been for nearly half a century. A 2021 poll by the Pew Research Center found that 59% of U.S. adults believed it should be legal in most or all cases, and while 39% thought it should be illegal in most or all cases. If I was, if I was American, I'd be counted as one of those who think it's, thinks it should be illegal to just butcher your own child like that. And by the way, too, I want to, I want to point this out as well. You know, oh, the rape and incest. You know, the rape and incest lie is is a is a complete joke. Um, most of these women get abortions for the sake of convenience because they're out, you know, playing the harlot, fornicating, out, you know, being busy a prostitute, and then they they uh, want to get an abortion with your tax money. Here's an idea: if you don't want a child, don't open your legs. There's a good one for you. Don't want children, don't open your legs. It's that simple. But of course, they uh, don't take heed to that because they're a bunch of feminist witches. But continuing on, quote, Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. Conservative Justice Samuel Alto wrote on the draft opinion, which started, which was dated February 10th, according to Politico, which posted a copy online. Based on Alto's, I think that's how you say it, Alto's opinion, the court would find that Roe v. Wade decision that allowed abortions performed before a fetus is visible outside the womb between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy was wrongly decided because the U.S. Constitution makes no specific mention of abortion rights. Well, there is some truth to that, by the way, too. There is no nothing in the Constitution about it. But it's just funny how these feminist witches are just going around and, and causing a riot in the streets over not being able to go out and be a prostitute and then taking my tax money, my hard-earned tax money, to kill their own children. And most of these feminists are just jobless teenagers who just, who just are lazy and sleazy and all this other stuff. It's a bunch of insanity. But what, what, do, I, what do I mean that abortion is murder? Well, first of all, here's some blaring contradictions in the atheistic, liberal, pro-abortion side. So first of all, if single-celled bacteria on Mars is considered life, but a multi-celled baby with a heartbeat, blood flow, and lungs is somehow not considered life, uh, how is that consistent? You know, if they found single-celled bacteria on Mars, they'd say, look, we found life on Mars. But then a multi-celled baby, heartbeat, uh, lungs, blood flow, you know, it can feel pain at, at a certain point of the of the pregnancy, but that's not that's not life. You know, blaring inconsistency. Now, here's another inconsistency. If a murderer kills a pregnant woman, he is charged with double murder because he killed the woman and the baby inside her. That, that's the U.S. law. If you kill a pregnant woman, you're charged with double homicide. But killing an unborn child... So, so killing an unborn child is considered murder when a serial killer does it to a pregnant woman, but it's not murder when a guy in a white coat rips the unborn baby apart in the abortion clinic, apparently. 
blatant contradiction right there. And there's, there's so many others as well. The abortion rights lobby is full of all kinds of contradictions, but this is feminism for you. So don't be deceived uh, by all this feminist insanity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.